Hello, I'm Gavin Bates, Online Community Manager at Workplace Law, with your weekly news update. Here is a quick lowdown on the latest news, cases and regulatory changes in health and safety, human resources and the environment. A recent Court of Appeal decision has provided some guidance on how an employer should deal with a reference request when allegations about an ex-employee come to light after they have left. Jane Bond, Head of HR at Workplace Law, explains. The argument on, on that decision was that the claimant hadn't had the opportunity to put his side of the story and therefore it went against natural justice. What the Court of Appeal found was although he hadn't had the opportunity to give his side of the story, the reference had been factual in that it said in the letter that he hadn't been given the opportunity to give his side of the story and that no inference should be drawn from that, the fact that he was under investigation at the time. Really the best practice or, or what the rules that people should stick to is only give a factual reference. Marks and Spencer is facing a fine of £1 million over asbestos exposure. The retailer and three of its contractors were prosecuted for putting members of the public, staff and construction workers at risk of exposure to asbestos containing materials during the refurbishment of two stores in Reading and Bournemouth. From the 1st of October, more health and safety prosecutions will take place before an inquest in England and Wales. Currently, cases are only taken before an inquest by regulators other than the Crown Prosecution Service in exceptional circumstances. The revised protocol will allow prosecution before an inquest where manslaughter or homicide charges are not relevant, if it is considered appropriate and in the interest of justice. Last week, New rules around applying the waste hierarchy when transferring waste came into effect. These have been applied under the revised EU Waste Framework Directive, which sets requirements for the collection, transport, recovery and disposal of waste. Under the changes, there are now new requirements for transferring waste, including new kinds of transfer notes and hazardous waste consignment forms. More information on the new regulations and the changes are available on the Environment Agency website.